In this episode, we'll talk about layoffs and what you should do if you suddenly find yourself without a job. With the right mindset and approach, you will be back on your feet in no time. High Hire connects you to industry-specific jobs in over 57 talent communities. Find your niche today on iHire. Unfortunately, layoffs are becoming more and more common in this sluggish economy. If you're one of the many people affected by these cuts, it's important to take a step back and just breathe. I totally understand how you're feeling. I have been there too. My first job after school was at a stockbroker firm, and four months in, the company had layoffs. I was last in and first out, but I didn't let that get me down. I called the recruiter who had placed me there, and within a week, I was working at their competitor down the street. But I think that being young and naive worked in my favor that time. I realized that as you get older, this can be so much more overwhelming. There are so many other things to think about with car payments and house payments and kids going to school and kids going to daycare. You have more at stake. When you get laid off, there is a sense of job loss grief. And it can be overwhelming. Job loss grief is a real thing. So you have to take your time to process the emotions around that grief. Try to stay in a positive mindset. Remember that being laid off is not a reflection on you or your skill set. It's a reflection of your former company's lack of planning. You are smart and capable and you can find a new job or even change careers at this point. If you're in a negative headspace, find something that will lift your spirits and put you in a better emotional or mental place. It's critical to take this time to focus on yourself and your overall well-being. Your mental health comes first. So when you start your job search, you're focused and composed. Second, start an accomplishments list. This will help you understand your current skills and capabilities and illuminate your success. This can really help you to stay more calm with all of those thoughts racing through your head about the job search process. Third, know what you want. Get some career clarity using our downloadable career clarity workbook. And you can find that in the resource center at iHire. Do you want to work for a big company or a small company? Do you want to stay in the same role or move to a different career? Write down exactly what you want and what's important to you on your next move. Fourth, define your values. Defining your values isn't about what you want. It's about what you need to feel successful in a new job. If that only thing that's important to you is having a paycheck or working nine to five, then any job might do. But in all the people I've helped through this process, they usually identify values such as, I need to feel like I'm making an impact. I need to feel like I'm helping people. I need to feel challenged or I need to feel valued. And lastly, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Reach out to family and friends and mentors or even a career advisor here at iHire. They can offer you some valuable advice and support during this time. With the right mindset and approach, you will be back on your feet in no time.